will now hear from our salutatory. Good morning. 
welcome family, friends, faculty, and most importantly, Mackey High School's class of 2020. It is my honor to speak in front of you on this special day of ours. Nearly two decades ago, we were seeds. We had all the potential in the world. Our family and friends wondered how tall we would be and how strong we would become. A little later, we became sprouts. As we donned backpacks, sometimes bigger than we were, as we walked into kindergarten. Some of us cried. And some of our parents cried. As they kissed our palms, mimicking the raccoon in the kissing hand by Audrey Penn. Or desperately hoped we would find that note in our lunchbox. But soon, we were making friends. We branched out and played rec ball, sang with Miss Taylor, and looked forward to the next fall carnival for the next field day. And we just could not wait for our sixth grade graduation. Then, almost overnight, we were sadness. On August 20th, 2014, most of us walked onto the campus of Mackey High School as students for the very first time. As we did, we grew a little taller and reached even harder for the sun. Throughout our time at Mackey High, we were able to witness a gradual change in ourselves and each other as we grew taller and spread our leaves. We found new favorite books, The Outsiders, To Come Bird, Anthem, The Great Gatsby. We went to new places, Echo Bay Camp, conventions, regional sports meets. We were taught by teachers that planted the seeds of learning. We were taught by losses. We were taught by change. But most importantly, we learned from each other. As we were growing into ourselves, we saw the leaves and blossoms gradually warm and grow. But we didn't see our roots that went deeper with every laugh, every triumph, and every teary-eyed loss. We sure didn't see how intertwined those roots became. Somewhere between walking for the first time and today, as we take our final walk as students at Mackey High School, we transitioned from those seeds to trees. And today, here we sit together, a complete forest. And like a forest, we all will serve different purposes. Some trees are a perch for songbirds. Some trees are evergreens meant to inspire Christmas carols. Some are homes for little raccoons, and some are much needed shade trees. But none are just trees. We all make a difference to somebody. Looking out at this forest in front of me, I see trees that bend and don't break. Regardless of the storms life hits us with. It seems like every year there's been a different challenge for us to weather. Whether it was adjusting to a new block schedule, new teachers, or a different type of senior year, we've all stood in the storm together. Parents, teachers, friends, and family, we couldn't be here without you. Thank you for giving us what we've needed. Thank you for watering us with love and patience. Because of you, we are here, and here we stand as towering trees. We are grounded and connected, and we have deep and intertwined roots. We learned to dance in the rain and handle things with grace. We grew from little seeds into mighty trees, and we will keep growing. I ask Mr. Wayne, our Chesterfield County Schools Board of Education representative, to join us on the stage in our presentation of the poem. Mr. Wayne, under the authority of the South Carolina Department of Education and the Chesterfield County Schools, I hereby certify that each individual student has met or exceeded all federal, state, and local requirements for graduation. On behalf of Chesterfield County's Board of Education, I accept and approve your recommendation. This 
this is the time we've been waiting for. We're fixing to begin our presenting and conferring of diplomas for graduation. As we start our conferment of graduation diplomas, we ask that all guests please make sure that your cell phones are placed on vibrate or silent. We also ask that we honor each graduate and their guests by holding our applause and comments so that each family is able to hear their graduate's name called and have a clear view to be able to see them walk across the stage. Feel free to take as many videos or pictures as you like. This time, Mr. Morgan, would you come and call our names for graduation? Will the first row of candidates please rise? Chloe Baker. Miles of Derek Matthew Lee Barefoot. Haley Brianna Barefoot. Miles Richard Ray Barefoot. Cassie Marie Perry. Montrese Terrell Black. Anna Grace Blackwell. Jordan Leah Blue. Thomas Corey Ball. Vivian Christine Brackett. Devin Jamar Bristow. Will the second row please rise? Jacob Kenneth Brooks. Jacob Thomas Bird. Brandon Tashon Cheek. Mary Elizabeth Davis. Bryce Wilson Eubanks. Elizabeth K. Freeman. Jennifer Veridiana Fuentes Hernandez. Abigail Grace Ganey. Kasten Elizabeth Ganey. Gavin Cam Good. Charles Leon Gray. Will the third row please rise? <laughs>
Casey, Elizabeth, Grantham. Nicholas Dawson Griggs. Tanner Reese Griggs. Casey Nicole Hall. Justin Nicholas Harrelson. Justin Lee Hollingsworth. Rebecca Lynn Horton. Kaylee Spring Jackson. Bailey Mackenzie Johnson. Foyt Tyler Johnson. Macy Nicole Johnson. Anna Nicole Jordan. Kaylee Elizabeth King. Gabriel Bonnie Mangum. Chrislyn Tamia McFarland. Colton Luke. McIntosh, Mallory Grace McKenzie, Rashawn Inante McPhail, Peyton Campbell Nixon, Kelsey Brooke Mullis. Graham Penner Newsom. Meredith K. Outlaw. Brooke Riley Perkins. Mackenzie Merritt Phillips. Christopher Martel Pons, Jr. Taylor Elizabeth Porter. Tanasia Rose, Bordes Ramirez Wilcox. Brooke Caroline Robbins. Jacob Matthew Andrew Michael Simmons. Destiny Lane Smith. Rivers Benjamin Smith. William Glenn Smith. Elijah Wayne Sports. Cameron Jacob Spread. Caroline Brooke Stevens. Savannah Lynn T. Kaylee Danielle Thompson. Austin Hunter Tyler. Elena Danielle Urbanek. Sequoia Amira Waiters. 
Wendell McKeever Wallace. Cody Chad Walters. Whitley Noel Walters. Jade Brannon Warren. Jenna Alexis Warren. Corey Allen Wayne. Emily Grace Webster. Jesse Eugene Wilkes. Elijah Devarius Jaquan Williams. Damian Keaton Wright. Jaheem Marquis Wright. side of your head. In just a second, we're going to move that tassel to the other side that signifies your graduation from McAbee High School. So at this time, with all seniors, all graduates, please move your tassel to the left side of your head to signify your graduation from McAbee High School. Congratulations. I started it, it just didn't feel right. 
Then I realized why. I thought to myself, this is not a traditional graduation ceremony, and we are not your typical high school class, so why should my speech be? Since our days in middle school, we have had the clever saying, the class of 2020 has 2020 vision. Truth is, not a single one of us envisioned our graduation being any different than the ones in the past. None of us saw any of this coming. I know we all have wished school would end sooner at some point over the past four years. Now, I think we all have wished we could walk those halls and give our teachers a hard time once more. Regardless of the life-changing times we are living in, we are still here together one last time to receive our diplomas that we have worked so hard to get. When I took the teacher cadet class my junior year, I learned that in a school setting, you have to monitor your surroundings and adjust accordingly to them. New students, new teachers, new administrators, and new school, the list goes on. My senior year has given me the opportunity to monitor and adjust. There were times when we felt like nothing was in our favor and everything was going downhill. But with the help of our teachers, administration, and family, we got through it. This difficult situation has and will continue to prepare us for what obstacles we will face in years to come. As Coach Atkins would say, it builds character. I think we all have a pretty strong character by now. Our senior year was drastically different than we imagined for sure. We came back to new administration with no clue of what was to come. Thankfully, we were blessed with understanding administration who did everything they could to give us the senior year we all looked forward to. So thank you, Dr. McLaurin, Mr. Morgan, and Ms. Townsend for always being willing to hear us out and give us support when we had concerns or wanted to bring about new traditions. To Ms. Griggs, thank you for being the best guidance counselor a school could ask for. You have always been willing to listen to us when we were struggling and give the best advice you possibly could. To every teacher, Thank you for giving us someone to talk to when we felt like the world was against us, for pushing us when we felt like giving up, for being hard on us because you knew we needed the tough love, for giving us the education we need to have a successful life, and for the many, many laughs we have shared. As a class, we have come together to do so much more than anyone could have ever imagined. We have memories together that we will never forget like the famous MC Learning performing at our pep rallies. We built friendships that will last beyond our high school careers, and we will put together, and we put together Matt Behind's first ever homecoming dance. I know we can do more. We have endured the pandemic of 2020. We have been there for each other, even if just in spirit. As we conclude our graduation commencement services this morning, I'd like to thank everyone for coming out. Uh, we have an outstanding group of teachers and faculty that will do anything and everything to help students here, and we're blessed for that. We've got a community that stands behind our school and our students through anything and everything to make sure that students have everything they need that they're successful. We've got a group of parents that have done an outstanding job of parenting. And that's not the case in a lot of communities, but it is in Macby. So parents, you need to be commended on your seniors this morning. Seniors, I can't say enough good things about you. Um, they have done an outstanding job. You've handled change, and I think Hannah summed that up very well. Uh, 
the senior class has done some great things. In conclusion, I'd like to borrow the words from uh, Pat Earl. He said, you're going to do great things. Congratulations, seniors. At this time, Ms. McClooney will be dismissing our row. She's going to be starting from the back and working out that way. Thank you for coming today, and please be safe going home. Again, congratulations, seniors.